everyone, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a long-awaited thrift haul. I asked what kind of videos you wanted to see in 2018 and this was by far one of the favorites. And I do not blame you, I love thrifting. I love to share with you what I found. So these are kind of a collective type haul, all found from Goodwill, all probably found over the course of the last month. I typically will go to Goodwill once a month, or once, once a month, once a week, and I usually find two to three awesome things. So yeah, I wanted to show all of those. Some of them I have shown in vlogs, so you might see a couple of repeats if you watch my vlogs. But yeah, got lots of new stuff too. I actually just went today, so I thought I would share with you the items I found today. So, mostly clothes, but I do have two things that aren't clothes. I find that I don't really find as many like home decor pieces or other items. I find more clothes, so that's just me. I don't know. That's just how it goes, I guess. But I found this today, really excited about it. This is a Yankee candle, and it is brand new never been burned. These things can be so expensive. It's called In a Winter Wonderland. And what does it smell like? Do they say on here? It does not say, but it smells like Christmas. It smells really good. Sometimes I'm not really drawn to Christmassy type candles, like the pine trees and stuff just isn't my style, but this does not smell like that. Brand new, it was, can you see that? I don't know, $5. That's a great deal for a Yankee candle. So I snatched that up. This is like the first thing I found today when I walked in and I was like, yes. Now I did leave one candle behind. I was going back and forth if I needed it or not. It was also a Yankee candle. It was burned just a little bit and it was Christmas cookie, which is right up my alley. But I put it back because I'm like, no, let's just get one candle today because I still do have some Bath and Body Works candles and I didn't want to go too crazy. So this, my plans for this, I'm gonna hold on to it till next Christmas. I will either use this as a gift, which I think would make an awesome gift for someone. It's never been used or I might keep it for myself. I'm not sure, but I will definitely be stashing this away in my Christmas bins for next year. I was really excited about that one. Grabbed it right away. The other item that I got, oh, you guys, I cannot believe I found this. Fiesta wear. I found a jumbo mug. If you are a Fiesta collector like myself, you know what this is and how fun it is to find it in thrift stores. To me, it's very rare. I have only found maybe two or three small items when out thrifting that's fiesta wear. Sometimes it's overpriced. This was not, this was only $1. I love these. These are like the big mugs. I love to drink out of these. Oh yes, so I'm really excited to add this to my collection. I will never leave Fiesta at Goodwill or any thrift store if it's a good price because I am an avid collector. So I was really excited to find that for only $1. If you know me, which I'm sure a lot of you do, I love LuLaRoe clothes. I've really held off lately with buying new LuLaRoe because I had so much. But one thing I had never bought for myself before but I've always wanted to try is a skirt. So this I found today, I'm like, yes, I need to get that. So it's a Cassie skirt. So it's basically, it's a pencil skirt. And I have never tried it and I never wanted to buy one because I've never tried it on and I didn't know how it fit. So I saw it at Goodwill, I'm like, yes, I need that in my life. It's the right size, it is not like crazy, it's black and gray, it's like perfect, it was like meant to be. So I got this for $4.50 and I think these range, I don't even know how much these are because I've never bought one, but I think, what are they? They're at least $30, $35. So I thought that was a fantastic deal. I actually tried it on not too long ago and it fits amazing. It's super comfortable. And I think I could totally rock this with maybe those Converse I just bought and like a cute top this summer. So I'm really excited about that. I love finding LuLaRoe at Goodwill. So those are my three finds from today. Now I have a few items from the past trips that I've made to show you. Okay, so a long time ago on that same path, LuLaRoe, I actually have two more LuLaRoe pieces to show you that I picked up. So this was not my size and I wasn't going to get it, but I did. It was $6. They actually wrote in permanent marker on the label, but I've worn it a lot, so it's kind of washed out. But it's a size extra large, so it's a lot bigger than my normal size, but it's a Randy tee. Really nice colors, blue, gray, pinks, yellow, really pretty. But I was like, oh, do I get it, do I get it? And I tried it on, and I actually wear this for pajamas, like, I love to dress like warm when I go to bed at night because my husband likes our room like super cold at night. So I've been wearing this for pajamas for $6 for this shirt right here. 
So that was one item. And then another item, this one I showed in a vlog, I think last week or two weeks ago, was this LuLaRoe Irma. This is also very much oversized. I want to say it was also an extra large or a large. I think it's a large. But um, it's just a nice striped Irma shirt. These things are normally $35 and I paid six or eight dollars i cannot remember i took it off already the tag because i did wear it but just for those days at home when you just want to feel like comfortable oversized i love this so i wore this one day when i was working on the laundry room and it was so cozy and comfortable and love that this material is so like soft and stretchy which is like perfect so those are the LuLaRoe items that I found. I did, well, I'm just gonna show you the rest of the items I found for myself, and then I'll show you what I got for the kids. So this I found last week. Have not tried it on. I'm so excited about it. It's been sitting in my pile waiting. So I'm excited now that I can try this on. Ugh, I found, I'm gonna show you the label first. Focus, maybe Matilda Jane for Joanna Gaines. And it is the most adorable plaid shirt you ever did see. It is so cute. It's like a popover type or pullover type. It's not a full button down. $4.50, $4.50. I was so excited. It doesn't look like whoever bought this ever wore it, but isn't this totally the style right now? I'm so excited about that. So I picked that up. I love that. I'm so excited to wear that. And then the last item that I've shown in vlogs, but I have not shown in like a sit down thrift haul. So I'm gonna show it just in case you missed it. This cashmere sweater. So I had to get it. I don't see cashmere very often. I've never owned cashmere before, but please let me know. I did notice on the tag, it says dry clean only. Let me know if I have to dry clean because I do not like high maintenance clothing. And if this is it, it might not be a good fit for me, but I've been wearing this nonstop the past week in a lot of my videos, but it is a, I can show you, it's an Orvis, which is a really nice brand cashmere 100 percent cashmere it's like an oatmeal color just a slouchy open cardigan with two pockets in the front this thing is so soft and warm i love it like i am just a cold natured person in general so i'm i'm always wearing cardigans so this was right up my alley this was also four dollars and fifty cents so i thought that that was a great find and then the rest is for the kids. I think I showed a couple of these. I'll show you again real quickly. I picked up a couple of Under Armour pieces for Madden. This is a size six. He's only three. So a couple years till he'll probably fit into this. I find he can wear Under Armour for like two or three years, the same size and still get away with it. So I don't know, maybe it'll fit him sooner than that. But it says, go where you don't belong. This was $6, no, $5. This was $5, it was marked up a little bit but a nice long sleeve Under Armour shirt. This will get a lot of wear with three boys in the family. And then on that same path, I've shown this before in a vlog, but this is just a basic Under Armour polo, Under Armour polo shirt right there. Same size, youth small. This was $6. We are, my husband will only wear Under Armour golf polos now in the summer, like that's what he lives in. So I knew that I had to get this because then he could be just like dad. So, and then the rest of these I found last week for the boys. Oh wait, I did find one thing for Macy. Let's talk about Macy. So Macy is my six year old who will only wear LuLaRoe Sloan's. Have you noticed that in my videos? I don't think I've ever talked about it, but that's all she wears. And it's not because she likes LuLaRoe, it's because she likes that they're three quarter sleeves. Like she's my summer girl. She loves her tank tops and short sleeve shirts. She does not like being like bundled up. She doesn't like long sleeve anything. So she likes that she can get away wearing a three quarter sleeve shirt in the winter, which I think is hilarious, but she rotates. She probably has seven, seven or eight of them and she consistently consistently rotates between those every day for school like it's very rare that she wears something that's not a LuLaRoe Sloan to school it is hilarious so I saw this one at Goodwill and I had to get it it was actually in the kids section it wasn't marked up at all so I only paid two dollars and fifty cents for it but this one right here it's a little bit it has a little bit of wash wear to it, but for $2.50, I had to get it. So it's a size eight. She wears a six right now, but I think she'll be able to fit into it. Cause yeah, I just think it, it looks like she would probably wear it, but it's black, blue, and yellow. And I really didn't think about this when I was at Goodwill, 
but this is something I think that the boys can wear too because look at that doesn't it look kind of gender neutral I think so some of the tops the boys each have a little rose Sloan that they got for Christmas and they look so cute in them I love the baseball style to these so yeah I got that for Macy for 250 and that will probably get passed down as well which is very rare that I buy something for Macy and then the boys can wear it too so that's cool and she was really excited about that so I need to get that washed up and then I found three shirts for the twins. These were $1.75 a piece. And I think a couple of them they can start wearing now because they do look like a little bit smaller than, I don't know, they just look like they run small. I thought this one was cute. It says, always be brave. It's Old Navy for $1.75. Now when I shop for the twins, I try to find like something that kind of coordinates with it, if you know what I mean, so they can coordinate. It doesn't have to match, but if they can at least coordinate or have something similar. So that was Old Navy. This one was also Old Navy, so I'm guessing it probably came from the same family. Same size, 2T, but it has the trucks on it. What does it say? Official dirt collector. There we go. Isn't that how it is with boys or girls even? But yeah. So I think that they could probably fit into these now. I have the sleeves. My, it might be a little long on them, but my boys have such big heads that the size 18 month stuff is getting really hard to get over their heads. So $1.75 for each of those, which I thought was a great deal. And then this one I'll set aside. This is a 2T, but actually looks a lot bigger than those other two. But I just saw that this one and thought it was so cute. A little canoe with the moose and the fox. And I am just drawn to this color, this turquoise-ish color. Um, so I love that for $1.75. This is in really good shape. So yeah, so cute. I love it. So that's everything that I've picked up at Goodwill over the past month. I hope you liked this video. If you want to see more thrift haul videos, please give me a thumbs up. It's something I love to do and would love to share with you more. So thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.